Hi guys, my name is Tom. Uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how I uh, built my uh, outdoor kitchen. First of all, the outdoor kitchens here uh, took me uh, several days to complete it. I have a full-time job, but this is my little hobbies, things that need to do. Um, this kind of top is based by the steel frame I weld them together. Uh, on the top there is, is gonna be a, a granite slab. Today, I trying to uh, make a, a, a crankless slab uh, holder to uh, transport from the manufacturer to home. So these are the steel tubing that I'm using. Um, they all 16 gauge uh, metals, hollow tube. So I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna weld them together, see if they can hold up the whole big uh, 800 pounds of uh, granite slab. Here it is. Uh, my garage is really tidy, really small, but it do the job. I'll figure it out. Little shake, shake, make. All right, guys. Here we go. We're gonna fast forward. So that's it. Spend like an hour and a half. Get this done. Finish products. So when I have the the granites, I will uh, post it up. I hope it will sturdy enough to hold it. So close to eight hundred pound uh, concrete slab. Oh, actually a granite slab. <laughs> this is the back of it. I have to tie down with some um, tights and put that uh, spacer in between that too. This uh, granite slab, when I get it from the guy who has it um, extra somewhere in the back. It's really dirty. I, I'm gonna clean it up, get really cheap. These are some welding um, I did. Hold up pretty good. No signs of bent, soon be bent. The pallets, uh, wooden pallets, use it as a spacer so we can stand up more. Uh, so the whole weight is, is more like a stand. Test feedings. Before I do anything else, I have to test feeding all the uh, the cabinets, the door, even the ovens. I need to fit this, test fit it first. I even test the burner. Make sure all the gas work, no leaks. So on the left side there, I um, install some electrical units for the uh, outlets. Uh, this side and the other side. After all the um, the towels install, had to clean up a little bit and you know clean and polish. I'm also using the uh, granite sealer on the top. You can see that I haven't uh, cleaned that much, but it's gonna be good. It's outdoors. It should be uh, water repel, and let's see how it goes. So when we done install, uh, when we start using, this is what's gonna be eating uh, barbecues, for the 